YouTube! Welcome to a new playthrough of Rise of the Ronin. We're on episode one, our first day of checking out this game. I'm a really big fan of like samurai, feudal Japan themed games. I really loved Ghost of Tsushima and Sekiro. They're some of my favorite games, if not my favorite game of all time. So when I heard Rise of the Ronin coming out, I really wanted to check it out. And uh, we didn't get a chance to play it on release because we were playing Rebirth, but now it's time for us to check it out. So if you enjoy this video, give it a like. If you want to see the playthrough live, twitch.tv slash lunity. And if you happen to enjoy it enough to subscribe, then by all means, please do so. Would love to have you here in the future as well. Um, I haven't really heard too much about this game so far. Any critiques or anything like that, haven't really seen too much about it. So I'm kind of going into this game pretty blind. Um, we'll have- we'll make our own assessment. We'll- we'll, you know, we'll see for ourselves. Make our own thoughts, you know? Let's check it out. Ghost of Sushi with guns? Is that what it is? Team Ninja. I'm excited. Oh, here we go. The showdown. Oh, snap. Ooh. Ooh. That was cool. Oh, no. Adam M. <laughs> oh, dang. Oh. Oh, beautiful. Whoa. Okay. What an intro. Rise of the Ronin. It's pretty sick. It's pretty sick. Yeah, it was a dope intro. Alrighty, let's jump right into the game. Here we go. New game. Uh, difficulty. Oh gosh. For those who want to enjoy the action, you can change the difficulty settings after starting the game. Uh, for those who are confident in their skills, you can change the difficulty settings after starting the game as well. Are we crazy? Do we do the toughest difficulty? You already know. Hardest, of course. I want to see Rage, Twilight. Well, let's give it a go on Twilight. If we're having a bad time, we can always change it, but we do like a good challenge. So let's go for it. Why not? Rise of the Ronin is a fictional story that takes inspiration from a time of expansion in Japanese history. Throughout their gaming journey, players will encounter historical significance. Mm. Dude, there's always a freaking hawk at the start of these games. Final Fantasy. Three centuries ago, Japan was unified under the Tokugawa Shogun. Closed its doors to the rest of the world, and for a time the island nation prospered. Mm. Beautiful! Wow! And despite its apparent tranquility, conflict brewed beneath the surface. Mm. Feudal lords known as daimyo were kept under strict surveillance. In public, they were loyal. But the coals of discontent were slowly being fanned towards conflagration. Rock <laughs> Deep in the mountains of Kurosu, weapons were secretly forged in preparation for rebellion. Oh, damn. <sighs> but the Shogun's forces got wind of the plan and took terrible and bloody reprisals. Dude, these poor kids. 
No. No. No, not the kids, bro. Not the kids, bro. But they did not count on another type of weapon being forged in Kurosu. Warriors known as the Veiled Edge. Ooh. Skills in both subterfuge in the way of the sword. These nameless assassins were unmatched in their abilities. Damn, that's what I aspire to be when I'm older, dude. Is she so fast? Oh. Under the tutelage of a master, the Blades, they honed their skills in pairs called Blade Twins. Go! I love her. Seven. I love her. <laughs> Formidable. Together, unstoppable. Blade twins are forever tied together by the bonds of fate. Mm. Ooh. Character creation. Oh, let's go. Okay, let's see. What is Veiled Edge 1 and Veiled Edge 2? <gasps> oh, she's pretty. Okay. He looks pretty dope too, honestly. Okay, chat, two hours of character creation. <laughs> I hope you're ready. I love that I get to make a girl. That's so cool. Dude, I feel like she looks amazing already. Okay, presets. Oh, whoa! You can have them look like real different. What? What? That is actually super cool. Whoa. Wow. What? Dude. God damn. This is. Whoa! Oh my god! Wow, okay, I was not expecting the range though. Um, shoot, I don't even know what to do. Like, if I should use a preset and go from there. I feel like she looks really pretty and like very... She makes me think of like samurai lady-esque or something. I can't see anything, so I don't know. Stance. Weapon sheathed. I like this one. Undergarment type? Huh? Where? Where? <laughs> what do you mean? I can't see! <laughs> oh yeah, we gotta make a new Chiha like character. True. Um Whoa! 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 I was expecting the Naruto run, I'm not gonna lie. She's really cute already, dude. Like, do I even need to change anything? She looks really nice. I feel like I almost don't even want to. We'll give her red eyes, though. Symmetrical. I type. Well, eight. Remember eight. Just so we can see. Dude, I feel like I'm not very good at character creators. Some people are like amazing at them. The thing is too, sometimes we spend two hours in character creation and then you don't even see your character's face. You get a mask or something. And it's just like, what do you mean? Um, eye bags, eye puffiness. Damn, you can really go like, I feel like my character creation isn't going to be a very good representation of what you can make in, like, character creation in this game. Just because I feel like she looks great already. And I, uh... Don't know if I feel like spending a really super duper long- Whoa! Those are some eyebrows. Interesting. Um... Like a super long time on character creation, just because like the characters already look great. So I'm like, we don't even gotta. Eye color though. 
Iris and pupils. Okay. Gotta make them red. Yeah. There we go. She looks like totally great. Whoa. Sephiroth eyes? Where's the shining gun? Can we zoom in? Oh. Oh, chat! I can make her not have clothing on. Okay. I found it. Uh, I don't know. The eyes are very, like... I, I, I don't know. I like the default, dude. Okay. No, that's good. Nose? Her nose is cute! Everything about her is already cute! She got some cute blush, she got some cute eyeshadow. Teeth? Oh, my god. Tooth paint! Whoa! You can change the tooth color? Well, it's, I don't know, I, I don't really see that much of a difference between these two, but... Oh, this one, she got like fangs! Vincent? She got like little, like the canines are more... Pronounce there, do you see it? Yeah. Let's give her some fangs, that's fun. All right, let's check out... I mean... Looks fine to me. Filtrum? I don't even know what a filtrum is. What the heck is filtrum, guys? Oh, it's the... This thing. The Cupid's Bow thing? I thought it was called the Cupid's Bow. Dude, you do not see this option in a lot of games. That's that's pretty crazy. Ear height, angle, earlobe, preset. Oh. Elf ears? That's cute as heck. That's cute. I like the smaller ear on her. She's so cute. I like her. Let's check out the hairstyles. Base hair. I like number 35, but let's see what we have to the game has to offer, okay? Let's go let's go through them all. Oh, this is so cute. Cute. That one's fun. Look at that. I feel like that's what that guy's hair has got. Yeah, that's like his hairstyle in the back. Okay, a little wispy looking. Hang on. Oh, cute as heck. All right, Chai, I might need your help. I Oh, this is like what the default girls was. I like that little, the strand of hair that's like this. I like that. This one's a little plain, IMO. A little high pony. A little buzz cut. Oh, Mikasa vibes a little bit, no? Oh, damn. Or is that that guy's hair? I like it. Oh, yes! That's the look right there. That's the one. We're going for it. <laughs> That's it. Oh, so cute. Ooh, the slick back look. Damn, all this hair looks really good. Ooh, I like it. I like- she looks so badass, dude. The short hair- dude, even- dude, she- she has such a beautiful face that everything looks good. Uh, I mean, she could even pull this off, fuck it. Cute, cute. I mean! Oh, this- this makes me think of that one singer that was on the first take with the blue hair. I'm telling you. I don't know her name, though. Alright, that's a look. That's a look. Yeah, I don't know her name. You'd have to- We all had this cut at six years old. <laughs> Tr oh, okay. Maybe there are some hairstyles that might not be it. Just, 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 you know. Ooh, look at that. Beautiful. This one's actually super cute with the braids. That's really cute. Whoa, this is like Johnny. 
Oh my god. I love it. It's a little bit, um, if it was red, um, you know, Sakuragi from Slam Dunk. This one's cute. Oh, 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 oh. Is that hair? How do you get your hair like that? It looks like an additional, like, poofy hat. Oh boy. Oh, cute. Super cute. I love how some of these are like, I can't tell if it's like for a male or like for a female, but like it's, it, they, they work either way, you know? It's cute. Ooh, the pigtails is adorable. Like it. Little bit of a long, ha longer hair look. Also another longer hair look. Oh, this is kind of like, like if Tifa had a, a shorter, uh, a shorter ponytail, no? Kinda? This is a little longer as well, but without the ponytail. Cute. This is simple ponytail. This is the one that she had, which I do really like. 31 to 33 fits your likeness so far. You think so? Yeah, I guess. That's true. A little top knot. <laughs> Ooh, the one-sided pigtail thing? I don't know what you call that. This one's, eh, not about it too much. Oh, this one's more clean shaved. Ooh, little braids, this is cute. Were you talking about this blue hair girl? When I said the bowl cut, this is who I was talking about. <laughs> the song's really good, by the way. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. I love that you knew who I was talking about. Y Yama. No hate to like FromSoft or like Elden Ring, but I feel like the character creator like presets are like, all right, yeah, let me make a character. <laughs> you know what I mean? Whereas this, I'm like, God, everything is beautiful. This is actually really cute too. Oh, so cute. I'm about it, dude. There are so many hairstyles. All right, a lot of these are like ones that I wouldn't be choosing. They look a little, a little boyish. Oh, this one's really cute. That's cute. Whoa! A little Goku. <laughs> cute, Madam M. Mm-hmm. Oh my God, Madara Uchiha. <laughs> I feel like Vincent's hair ain't that wild, is it? Cute. Okay, chat, I actually don't know which hairstyle to pick. I actually really like this one. I feel kind of boring because this was like one of the presets, but I really like it. I think it looks really pretty. You can change bangs and stuff depending on hairstyle. Oh, if I could get that bang with this side hair. Let me check. Bangs. Oh, oh, these are super cute too. Oh my God. If I went to, let's say this one, bangs. Oh, she already, oh, you can't even change the bangs on this one. Oopsies. Tied hair. Oh my God, you can change the look of the tied hair too? What? Hair at sides, top, upper, rear, lower, rear. Oh my God, the customization though. This is like straight, this one's like a little wavy. This one's braided. Oh, I'm kind of between these two. Maybe we'll go for wavy then. Oh yeah, the color, hair tips. Oh my God, you can choose. Oh, wait, length? Oh, her bangs! No way, dude! What? If you're like, mm, it's giving a little too much bang, like maybe we, we do a little bit like, you know, like what the hell? I like the long bang though. I like it. Curliness. Whoa, look! 
We ran her hair through like one of those crimper things. Hair tips too. The length of her actual hair, I can't. Well, I got long AF hair, so I gotta go maximum. Dude, that this is insane. There's even more hair tips, other ones. Accessory color. Oh! I mean, a little purple for the Looniverse, you know? I think we're good on the hair. We could look at the hair colors, because we didn't do color, but I mean, colored tips. Whoa! Dude, that looks so fire. What the fuck? That looks so sick, actually. Oh, man. I would love if my hair looked like that IRL. I might go with the black just because I like sticking to my Uchiha, like, you know. This is what I do in all games. I try to make it an Uchiha lady. I'm not getting any of these references. Uh, it's just Naruto. I like making characters look like... Well... Basically, black hair, red eyes. Um, we got facial hair. I guess let's look at it just so, you know, for, for the, the dudes, so you guys can see what their options are, if you were to choose. Ha <laughs> ha! There's your facial hair options. Facial hair color, mustache. You could you could change the length. Okay, wait. Just just to see what this looks like, okay? Let me let me let me see this. You could add highlights to your mustache. Are you serious? Okay, wait. Let me let me do like a longer mustache situation. No. Oh, I can see it. Can you guys see it? It's very subtle, but I see it in here. <laughs> oh. Oh, wow, you could change the type of mustache. Whoa! Oh my god. Okay, hang on. Length. No, give me one with the length. Yes! No! Oh, you can shorten it, though. Look at that. Wait, beard length. Beard jaw. Oh, this is a pretty oh curliness too. Dang, that's crazy, dude. I just wanted to show you guys in case you were facial hair enjoyers. Okay, eyeliner. Her makeup is exquisite as it is. Oh, we got f nail polish, face paint. Whoa! If you were going for like the, maybe like the geisha, geisha, geisha? I think it's geisha, right? The geisha look, which is really cool. Oh, why is she naked? Okay. Fingernails. Cute! Wait, you could do her toenails too? <laughs> why? <laughs> what? Ooh. Dang, for free? That's what I'm saying. I'm like, um, not for free. If I were to go Akatsuki colors, the Akatsuki have like this color type of thing. Okay, might as well have her toes matching. Matchy matchy. Cute. There we go. Okay, face, no, facial markings. Type? Oh, I could put my my little what whatever you call this. <laughs> my little beauty mark. Little scar. Ooh. Uzumaki? What the heck? Whoa. Whoa. Sick. Oh my god. Oh, cute. Oh, these are cool. Gilgamesh. Sick. I mean, if we're gonna make her have like a little loony moment, we can, you know. Can I make this work? I think I can make this work, guys. 
Oh my god, I can make this work! I never get to do this in games! I never get to have this in the exact spot! I feel so seen. <laughs> um, facial markings too. Oh, so you could have multiple if you wanted. Honestly, like I said, I really like the way she looks already, so I almost don't even want to bother. Although, can we give her lashes lashes? I feel like she looks good already, though. Oh, this is like manga lashes a little bit. But those look good. I like this one, though. Eyelash length. Oh my god, we can make them longer? Holy! Dude. All right, the character creation in this is actually insane. Like, it really is. It just is. Uh, you can even change the eyelash color. God damn, lipstick. I like her color right now. Oh, it's just red. Ooh. Cute. Is there like an, oh, the opacity. I was gonna say, oh, the glossiness too? Oh. Okay, let's give her a little bit of gloss. Yeah. Okay, body type. Oh yeah, the undergarments. <laughs> There were undergarment options. What are the options? Oh, we can have little shorts. Oh, we can change the color? Wait, why just the bottoms? I would want the top to be changed too. Oh, I didn't even look at skin texture. You can even compare with previous appearance. Oh my God, I love that. Um, okay, where were we? Body? Oh, right. Height. Chat wants me to do this. This is my life. At least one up, okay? Maybe even two. Um, muscle mass? Oh. Oh, yeah, wait, you can definitely tell. She looks ripped as hell. Well, let's like, I don't know, go in the middle. I guess. Chest size type one. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Wait. We got one, two, or three. Basically, suddenly cleavage. <laughs> uh, I don't have boobs, so I'm gonna go with one. Body markings. Let's see. Oh, there it is. Cool. Ooh. Should we give her a little something? We could make it like longer. Cause I was like, ooh, if it covered more space, that'd be cool. What else? Muscle mass and weight. I feel like she's fine as is. Oh, you could like specifically combined adjustment. Ooh, dang. She muscle mommy. I feel like I'm like here. I'm definitely not this muscular though. That's for sure. Uh, head size, I think this is fine. She looks pretty proportionate. Okay. Oh, it's probably male and female. Let's see. Okay. Oh. Let's go. Let's go. Don't mess up. Maybe this is fine. This is good. Okay, finalize settings. Are we doing this? Wait, how do I? L3? Ooh, different lighting. She's so pretty. I love. Oh, this is like in between. And nighttime. I feel like making a dude would be kind of fun too, actually. Uh, okay, I feel like we're good though. Yes, finalize settings. Proceed with these characters. Care. Oh. I have to do the guy too? Oh. <laughs> okay, give me one more hour. All right. Yeah, they said twins. So I have to do the guy too. He's not just here because for fun. You actually have to. What? Okay, all right. Back to the beginning. Here we go. All right. Um, I actually don't know if I want this. I'm gonna be honest. 
I'ma be oh okay actually these are sick okay wait 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 get rid of that get rid of where is it get get it out get it out hold on here we go dude I could have had this for my girl too oh this is what I was going for bro this is sick Dang! Damn! He's got a whole bodysuit! Uh, I could go back and change her, true. Dang, guys. His cheeks are even tatted. Damn! Uh, I don't like that one. That's too much. Hmm, maybe this one. I like how it goes down on the arm. I think that's cool. I wish there were more options for just like one arm because I would love to give her oh this one's actually really pretty it's got the flowers okay we'll give her this one is it possible to zoom in yes these are pretty well done like the tattoos on here I feel like they're pretty well done like that's a fish got some flowers the kois I think <clears throat> they look really good actually so this one's got the flowers as well they look pretty good. Uh, zoom out. So this is what they look like. Oh, this, okay, sorry. This is what she looks like. I love her. And this is what he looks like. Love him. They both look great. Side by side. Guys, wow! Hi, do you want? Look! They look so pretty! All right. So two hours into character creation later, <laughs> then here we are. We're finally done. Let's proceed. Let's actually play this game. Uh, setting up your veiled edges. As a swordsmith polishes a blade, so too does a bladesmith sharpen the veiled edges in their charge. Choose a blade sharpening origin to determine the veiled edges initial abilities and special skills as well as the weapons with which they excel. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. Killer. Learn the way of the veil, veiled edge passed down for generations. Cut down those that stand in your way and strike fear into your enemies. Recommended weapons. Oh, okay. So this is like different types of swords for strength. Breaker has like dual wield plus a gun? Learn the art of ninjutsu to complete highly dangerous missions trained in utilizing various equipment and can assassinate multiple enemies at once oh wow seducer oh look there's different special skills as well so this is repel arrows and bullets counter spark this is rapid assassinations this is Speechcraft Liar. What? Learn the art of being charismatic and charming. Efficient and practice movements allow for efficient key usage and will also be very clever with words to deceive people. Sapper? Obtain special skills, refill medicinal pills. Uh, learn a wide range of knowledge required for a spy. Adept in handling firearms and medical practice and also excels at negotiations. Beginner? Novice, oh. This is like all around, I guess. All 75, but some of these are like increased, so that's kind of weird. A novice with wide range of special skills at their disposal. Because of the unfinished nature of their training, these veiled edges are full of possibility and more than others are capable of learning a multitude of special skills. Uh, that said, their lack of specialization may hold them back from unlocking their true potential. And unsharpened, so this is like you want to, you know... You want to nerf yourself, I guess. A weakling whose ineptness has resulted in their lack of a blade sharpening origin. These veiled edges know only the most basic of skills and have poor attributes to boot. Their abilities to survive in a cruel world such as ours is surely a sign of their inordinate luck. Hmm, interesting. I feel like my personal picks would either be breaker or killer. Um, but let me go with this. I'm going to go with the strength. Start with this blade sharpening origin. Yes. Okay, the game officially starts now. <laughs> Ooh. Damn. That's us. Yes. C 
Cool. All right, all right. What's happening here? Select character? What do you mean? Well, we gotta go with the girl first. Head to the bladesmith's location. Follow me, okay. Veiled Edge Village, 1853. Central's birth year. What are you going to use? Select the weapon to, ooh. The two weapons you choose here will be your initial, crap. <laughs> I didn't get to read it all. Fudge, okay. Recommended Katana Odachi. Okay, well, Katana, obviously. Best go with something that suits you. Yes. Normal attacks, square. Advancing attack, L plus square. Charge attack, hold square. Press again to unleash a barrage of attacks. All attacks require key, as indicated by the blue gauge. Practice against some bales of straw. Okay. okay. Hi, Oxy! I couldn't I help it, I'm done. so sorry. Oh, so the blue bar is my energy. Advancing attack. Charge attack is hold. Lock on R3. Okay. Alright. Uh, paired swords. Odachi. Spear. Can I get two katanas? Whole arm. Hmm. Odachi is cool. Can I change if I don't like it? That's Switch primary I mean. weapon. Before R1. Sure R1 up. Ooh. Whoa. I feel like... Can I switch? I can. Oops. Whoa. This is so much slower. Not too bad though. I I'm not a I'm not a spear girly though. Where's my katana? Give me this back. Do I have my second weapon chosen? I do. Maybe we go for this. Sure. Well, let's try paired swords, just in case though. Like, might as well try everything, right? Now's the time. Okay, but this is sick though. You can't say we can't do this. I like it. Okay. Uh, I like single katana typically though, to start. Oh, I'm crouching for some reason. Okay, let's go. You're happy with that then? Yes. Yes. All right, let's go. Let's go. Woohoo. Ooh, what? Oh, I'm crouching because I'm trying to <laughs> sheath, unsheath. Oh, oh not, gosh. I won't pull my punches. Uh, wait, L1? Oh gosh. I'm trying to parry for some reason. Can I parry? Oh. Wait, no, hit me. Owie. Again. Oh, oh. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Um. Medicinal pills. Got it. Do I want it? Yeah, yeah, yeah I guess so. Hey. Chimkin. Okay. Uh. I don't, oh gosh, you guys. I keep wanting to try to. I'm. I'm constantly pressing down L2 to sprint. 
But it's circle. Oh boy. Okay, it's back to souls. Okay. Alright, what's up? Head to the bladesmith location. Sup. Martial skills. Hold R1 plus square or triangle. Use key to unleash powerful attacks. Each martial skill has special attributes and may be modified by repeatedly pressing or holding the button. Exhaust an enemy's key using martial skills or other attacks. With their stance broken, they'll be unable to move and you could unleash devastating strikes. Okay. Alright. Right. That's Rimba up, shall we? Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Defeat your brethren. Bow. 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 Do they have a bar sti oh Yes, there is. I also have my, oh yeah, my key, right. Take. Thanks, pal. Okay. We can get used to this. Cool, cool. <laughs> Chipkin. Sprint, hold and release. Hold and release. Oh, okay. Interacting with a veiled edge banner will restore your health as well as replenish your medicinal pills and projectiles. Oh, just be warned that it will also cause defeated enemies to reappear. Okay, so it's a bonfire. When you run out of health or restart the game, you will return to the last Veiled Edge banner that you interacted with or else- Yeah, yes. We are familiar. Okay, bonfire, check. Ooh, cool. Touch the banner. Sick. Okay. Head to the Blazemiths location. So if I hold- Ooh, this place is super pretty! Oh, man. Beautiful. Oh! Oh! <gasps> it's the Time granny! I love her! Okay, fighting. Swords and show me all Ooh, I fight my, with my twinsy. I'll get the better of you this time. Use a counter spark to deflect and neutral. What? To deflect and neutralize enemy attacks. Deflecting attacks with counter sparks will cause enemies to become temporarily panicked, opening up a window of opportunity for you to deal major damage. An enemy's panic status is indicated by the red gauge. Okay. Counter spark, hey? Ah! Okay. There we go. Bow, bow. Okay, again. Die! <laughs> Just kidding. He's my twinsy. We need to chill. Chill, chill, chill. I feel like the window for that is pretty generous. Oh! You can deflect the repeated attacks of an enemy combo using counter sparks. But please note that deflecting one attack in a combo will not cause an enemy to become panicked. So rather than focusing on deflecting everything, it may be best to block. Oh. So, like block the first two attacks and then counter spark the last one. Hmm. <laughs> it's the parry system. Uh huh. Just had some epic character creation care of Looney here. Just fi finished my Helldivers daily and about to Minecraft it up. Let's go. Uh, okay. With enemy combo attacks. Okay. So. Oh, my bad. Oops. Okay. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Use sorry. The counter spark. Fuck, I keep- okay, sorry. What happens if I do it from the beginning? I think that's what happens. Oh my god. Remember when I said that the, <laughs> the timing was generous? <laughs> okay. 
The best way to drain an enemy of key is to first reduce their maximum key. Panic enemies with counter sparks and then attack to significantly reduce their maximum key, making it easier for you to fully deplete their key. Uh, in such a situation, the use of martial skills will prove more effective than normal attacks. Okay. So basically just martial skills once you've... Oh, damn. Okay. I know your every move. Uh. You'll have to do better. Okay. Oh, crap. We'll have to know which ones are one hits. Critical hit. Uh, when the enemy's stance has been broken, fully deplete your enemy's key to break their stance. Once the enemy has been incapacitated and the lock-on icon has turned red, you'll be able to execute a critical hit capable of dealing major damage. Alright, let's see that again. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah! Okay. Cool. Cool. What am I doing? Oh! There it is. Bam! Hold R1 near collapsed enemy. Oh. Nice! Man, yes. I want to fight something you for reals. Well. Yes. Next, you will fight me. I will face the both of you. Okay. <laughs> I'm bad. Oh, oop, oop. oop. Okay. Oopsies. I'm dead. Sh I'm dying. Okay, okay. Ooh. Oh! Okay. I need to know, like, what's a one hit and what's a multi hit, you know? Okay. Oh. I want to get it down. Oh, crap. I thought she was gonna. <laughs> Okay. Ah, gosh. <laughs> there we go. Oh! Got her. I'm pressuring. You're normally sharper than this. Oh, you can switch control between either Veiled Edge member at any time? What? Change between your character to suit the battle conditions may help you... What? To turn a fight to your advantage? What? Well, how? Like, if, I'm, if one's getting pressured, maybe? If, like, one's getting focused? It looks like you're getting somewhere. What the frick? Working together is the only path to success. What the hell? What happens if I do this now? Like, what about- oops! I accidentally uh, ate a thing. Oh. Oops! Ah, go! Okay, that's really interesting. Oh, crap. I probably could've done more there, but it's fine. Oopsies. <laughs> Okay, well, that's very that's interesting. For now. I've never seen that in like another game before, like switching like that. Mm. I'm assigning you a new mission. Okay, we're on it. The black ships from America are anchored off the coast at Yokohama. Sneak aboard and steal the secret message in Commodore Perry's possession. Sneak? And... <laughs> If the opportunity arises, kill Perry. Understood? Okay. Understood. What secret message? Oh, 
you can look at conversation history. The conversation history can be used during cutscenes to replay previously spoken lines or of dialogue. The related entries option allows you to read up on people and events connected to the present scene. Okay. Uh, secret. What secret message? You dare question your master? Well, if you insist. The Shogunate has made a deal with the Americans. That is reason enough for us to strike. Mm. This gotcha. is the day our clan has long prepared for. When we finally go to war with the Tokugawa. This is an order. Failure is not an option. Are you ready to head for the black ships? I guess so. Yes. Uh, yes. Good. I know you will not let me down. Now move. We look so good. The fact that it's based on real historical events. Saw the Perry character and he looks just like the real man. Really? What? That's actually really cool. Hmm. So sneaky. Guys, I have to I have to sneak. <laughs> Lunity and sneak is not a good combination. Very authentic looking ship. Mm -hmm. Select character. I mean, it's, it's just always the girl. It's just she's just Let's my girl, you know. Oh God! Do we swim over there? Oh oh! Let's be sure to touch this in case. Okay. You're gonna really like this game. Trust me. I'm excited. Okay. Now. <gasps> Locking the camera onto an enemy will make fighting them easier. You will also be able to see the enemy's health and key. Okay. Yes, sir. Don't forget this. Oh. <sighs> Yo. This is sick. Climb. Different types of enemies can be identified by different overhead icons. Normal enemy and formidable foe. Some formidable foe functions as the leaders of enemy groups. After you have taken out the leader of the enemy group, they will no longer reappear when you interact with a banner. Oh. Interesting. Sleep time. Have a good night, Reinhardt. Okay. Time to suffer. Huh? Prepare yourself. Oopsies. Okay. I'm taking on the big guy. Oh. oh wait, they're both big guys. Oh, he's not dead yet. Dude, this is so brutal. Owie. 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 <laughs> Owie, I'm dying. Okay, so is he. Whoa. Dude, this is so gory. Oh my god. There's so much blood. Okay. Raise the banner. Easy. Okay, touch it. Just to be sure. Uh, resume mission. K. 
Okay, now we're... Oh, crap, I took a thing when I didn't need to. I could have gotten healed for free. Oopsies. Okay. So, we need to go down. So they stay dead if they're a formidable foe. Interesting. Okay. Oh, yeah, I can... <laughs> Is this loot? <laughs> Alrighty. How to go down. Aha! I see it. Whoa! Dude, the animations are so fun. What do you mean, stay dead? Oh. Assassinating enemies. Enemies will notice you and attack if they hear you. Crouch. Walk. Lightly tilt. This will allow you to move silently. Approach enemies without being noticed and press triangle. This allows you to quickly dispatch enemies without engaging them. Provided you can sneak up on them. Note that you may not be able to assassinate formidable foes in one fell swoop. Dang. Approach from the back. Take it slow. Is that a part of it? Like, does he just... There's a rat. Looney is succeeding at stealth? What? This never happens. Deflecting enemy gunfire and other such attacks with a well-timed counter spark will temporarily set your weapon ablaze. Attacking enemies in this state will cause them to burn. What? What? Fuck. Ah, I suck. I want it. I suck. Give me. Fuck, dude. Okay, one of these days, we'll get it. Ah, uh, two preemptive, okay. A uh, dude, a uh, dude. <laughs> ah, what? <laughs> there we go. Okay, wait, oh. Okay. <laughs> oh. This way. Rifles are noisy, but enable powerful attacks at range. Ready, L2, shoot, R2. Landing a headshot will greatly increase damage dealt. Dude. You're telling me I gotta aim? Oh, shit. What? That's okay. That's alright. Zoom. Okay. I'm gonna wait for that guy to go. Cause that's gonna matter. What? Update added? What the hell is going on? Bap! Go! Go! Oh, what? What? Oh, well... Go on. Oopsies. Oh, I'm dying! Okay. But I want to fight them. Crap. Crap, 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 crap. Wait, ah, get these barrels out. Ah! Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Hold. <laughs> oh, crap. I can't just run to the bonfire. Shit, I'm sorry, bro. I'm coming. I'm on my way. <laughs> on my way. Oh, what if I could have... Oh, dude, I got- I just got so lucky, actually. That was a perfectly timed fucking... 
thing. Wait, I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying. Fuck. Okay, this guy's freaking carrying. He's carrying really hard. Shit. Okay. No. What? Don't! Don't you dare! Okay, what am I doing? What am I doing? What are we doing? What is going on? <laughs> what is happening? Oh god, this guy has no weapon. <laughs> oh shit. Okay. Okay. Dude, what just happened? That entire everything was ridiculous. <laughs> okay, I don't want to talk about it. I do not want to talk about what just happened. Okay. Is the health bar for both people the same? No, so his health bar is like over there, I guess, and mine is underneath me. So, the difficulty isn't bad. I just feel like I my my twin is definitely carrying me though. For sure. Okay, are these guys going to respawn? Oh. I suck. I, c I don't know why I'm back here. I guess I wanted to... <laughs> nope. I, I don't know. I have nothing for you. I got nothing. Oh no! I want to fight. Crap. Okay. I want to get good. I want to get better. Okay. Crap. 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 Oh, I missed. I'm dying. Dying. Die! Okay. God, dude. What the hell? That is crazy, bro. That is just next level. So, as you can see, his health bar is a little lower now. So. Okay. Well. Oh, maybe I did have to go over here? I'm not entirely sure. Oh, actually, yeah. I did. Ah. Uh, did I... Did I fail that or something? Ah. Uh, This game is brutal, man. Okay, I probably should have... Oh, 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 crouch. Yeah, I think I failed it last time, or something happened. I'm not entirely sure. Healing elixir two and medicinal pill. What's the difference? How do I look at my items? Oh, look at this. Mission. Equipment. Weapons, armor, and accessories are equipped to specific slots. Weapons and armor each have their own stats. Aptitude to equip it. Items that are suited to your skills. Da, da, da. Press L2 for details of the stat aptitude of your equipment. Equipment preset. Save or load an equipment combat style. Da, da, da. Inventory. View your items in your possession. That's what I want to see. Okay. Sub weapon. Yeah. Number of bullets. I got six bullets. Yeah, we're popping their heads up. They aren't getting back up. Mm -mm. No, they're not. Okay. So I got socks. <laughs> Sick. Oh, I could get a hat? Uh, so what is this? Consume to restore health and all your depleted key. Oh, interesting. Okay, sure. Let's add that to that. Okay. 
Um. Oh, there's a thing in front of it. Nice. I was gonna say, maybe I should walk back, but... I don't know if I missed something back there? Whatever. Okay. This gotta be a boss room, right? The dude's gotta be in here? Or not. Oh, shit, my bad. <laughs> I'm used to pressing triangle to, like, loot stuff. Captain's cabin key? Obtain Perry's report. Obtained a new weapon. Select equipment from menu to equip or switch your primary melee and sub long range weapons. Okay. Uchi katana! Wooden katana? Uh. 32. Oh, it's the same! Well, I like my katana. So. Equipment level 3, though. I don't know if that means anything. I think this is fine. Yeah. Mumio Ryu, a combat style with highly versatile techniques. Uh. Okay. We're not gonna worry about that. Okay. Up we go. Find Commodore Perry! Oh! Cutscene time. This is what he looked like for reals. The great white whale that's eluded all others. Ooh. My vision is clear. And my harpoon ready. Huh? <laughs> this could be me. Oh shit. I'm taking that straight into the face. Oh, just kidding. I parried. Oh, we're insane. Okay, it is it is us. I parried. <laughs> I parried the parry. To avoid the martial skills of enemies enveloped by a murderous red aura, you will have to rely on a perfectly timed counter spark deflection. There are any mar enemy martial skills which are very tricky to deflect with a counter spark and some cannot be blocked by guarding. For this reason, dodging can sometimes be a more effective strategy. Okay. Fuck. Okay, 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 okay. You can use your grappling rope as a weapon when locked onto an enemy. Also, certain objects like explosive barrels can be thrown at enemies. Throw grappling rope at enemies. R2. Use grappling rope to throw enemies at... Objects at enemies, okay. Oh gosh. Yikes! What? Oh my god, I thought I did it, but I definitely didn't. Okay. Okay. No, I didn't do it again. Damn it. Crap. No, I'm dead. Oh, if I die. Ew, 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 ew. What happens if I do this? Where is she? Oh, wow. That's actually decent. Okay. Uh, crap. Crap. Oh my god. Oopsies. Oh! Crap! Oh, did it! We did it! Okay. 
<laughs> oh, blocked it. Oh, huge. Uh, okay. Oh, crap, you're down. My bad. Crap. No, no. Heal. Ouch. No. Did I do it? I think I did. Shit. Shit. No. Stop freaking. <laughs> Where is he? Where is he? Where? Cannot aid? Oh, you need heals in order to do it, okay? What are you doing? Oh, crap. Crap. What if I R2 this? Ooh. Fuck, I missed. Yeah. Fuck! Okay. No! Oh, huge. Wait, red? Go a long way. I'm not dying here. <sighs> I'm scared. <laughs> no! Dang it! Oh, we almost had him. <laughs> we almost had him. He turns out he knows how to parry that. <laughs> ah! <laughs> the combat's actually pretty fun. It is pretty fun. We, we, we were so close the first attempt. I think I had extra healing back then too, actually. I had two had extra heals. I'm not sure about like when I would want to like switch, you know, between the characters. <laughs> fuck, 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 fuck. No, no! Dang it. No. <laughs> just warming up. It's okay. Don't worry. We're just warming up, chat. No! <laughs> no! Okay, okay. I'm, I'm kind of getting it a little bit here. Kind of getting it. Is it Souls-like now? Well, the game is... So what? Is it just telling me to retry if I wanted to? Because I haven't killed it yet. Huh? I keep getting so close. <sighs> It's okay though. This is fun. This is a fun fight. I like this. Even though we're fail we're you know dying a lot, it's okay. This is fun. Now you've done it. Okay. Oof. 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 Nice. No. I'm trying. Okay. I'm back. I'm coming. Nice. Very good. Good. Keep the pressure on. No, I ran out of juice. Crap. Crap. I wonder if it's worth it to like hit him a little bit before we triangle immediately. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh jeez. I messed that up bad. Thanks. Dude. Uh. I'm in a weird place. Get me out. Uh. No. No. No, I forgot what button I pressed R1 instead. No. 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 Triangle. Oh, we're so close. Mm. 
guys! I went for it! Why did I go for it? Why is it that I missed that parry so easily? I really went for it because I was like, no, okay, I can I can parry this. I got this. And I missed. Stop telling me this. Stop. I don't care if I'm dying. Stop trying to tell me to change the difficulty. <laughs> Shit, 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 shit. Heal, heal, heal. Yep. No, no, okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. No, stop. No. <laughs> Fuck, man. I'm scared. Don't even. What? No. Come on. What do you mean? This freaking cheater. Bro, guys, this fight isn't even that hard. There are some moves that are kind of like hard for me to tell. Like, what is it? What is it that he's doing here? I'm not too sure. Maybe that's what's making it hard for me? Okay. Ew. Okay, learning, finally, Jesus Christ. Ooh! Okay. Oops, I was just standing there for a second. Not bad. Ugh, I'm dead. Get up, get up. Heal? Oh crap, I healed already. Fuck. No, like, it's stuff like that. Like, I should have that by now. I'm out of juice. Who sent you? No. Kill me, and you're all done for. Right. Fuck sakes, every time, dude. Okay. I'm not dying here. I ain't saying nothing. I ain't saying nothing. I ain't saying nothing. Let's go. We finish them off. How? What do we do? Oh, a uh, little bit of this. Finally. <laughs> I'm afraid I can't let you kill him. Excuse me. What? What? Face tail? No. What are you? Oh, fuck my life. Are you joking? Okay. <laughs> so, uh, okay. <laughs> I kind of sucked ass there. He kind of popped off a little bit. will sacrifice their partner for duty. So which of you will do the deed? What? What? No! No! Are you serious? Oh, what? Oh, I always got 
be the girl. No. We spent so long. Man, I'm sad, guys. No. No. Uh huh. A veiled edge without a partner. Truly a pitiful sight. I'm so sad. No. <laughs> Ah, uh... that was the only trace that remained. Dude, I'm sad. That's a bummer. It's a big bummer. No, not the freaking backstory, the freaking flashbacks. Two of us are one. Don't forget this. Bro. Sadness. Oh, man. Oh, it's wintry now. Guys. Veiled Edge Village. Oh. Okay. Am I supposed to fight y'all? What the shit? Oh boy. Okay, it's fine. Oh fuck. Blade flash R1 immediately after an attack. Shake off bloodstains and replenish key based on the bloodstain amount. Use between attacks to perform various actions. Each attack with the primary weapon increases the amount of blood on it. The gauge display below at the primary icon. Okay. R1 immediately after an attack? Oh, what? The hell? What does it do though? Replenishes your key? Oh. We will not. Thrown quickly and consecutively. Throw. Stop. Switch sub weapon. I mean it's already switched, I guess. Fuck! I just healed. Yeah, that would have helped a lot during that fight, hey? Uh-oh. Okay, so if I... A dog, too! How do I... Immediately after... Fuck, dude. You guys, I suck. I'm thinking too much. There's a lot of- a lot going on. Fuck. Ah! Ooh, I see. Uh. Oops, why'd I do that? Dude, I feel like I still suck really bad at this combat. Oopsies. So bad. Eh. Okay, I didn't have to do that there. Okay, oh my god, I keep pressing L3 to run. Oh, I could have probably snuck up on this guy. 
Okay. Not L3. Sekiro! Oh, I missed my triangle opportunity. Crap, crap. Heal, I don't have heals. No! No! Why did she get up? Dang it! The parry gameplay. Yeah, it's something to get used to. Oh, you finished it. Nice. Oh my god, I'm pressing R1 for parry, L1. Everything except for the button I need to press. Please don't die. I just want to get past this dude, please. Fuck, fuck. Almost there. All right, we did it. Alright, we, we, we beat him. We beat the boss. Now to, uh... Somehow... Not die. Am I supposed to like drop down on these guys, maybe? Assassinating from up or high up. You can also assassinate enemies by approaching them from above without being noticed. Assassinate ambush enemies from high places may serve as a surprise attack, causing disorientation and worsening morale. Okay. I need heals. Thank you. Fuck, there's two of them. Damn it. Uh, fuck. I'm scared. I don't want to die. No. Please give me a heal. Thank you. Oh god. I'm like barely getting by here. Damn. Okay. Ooh. Wait, what is this? Please be heals or something. Shuriken 10. Not what I wanted. Okay, it's fine. Uh, this game looks really fun, but I'm a bit burnt out on this setting after so many in recent years. Oh well. Yeah, I mean, not much you can do about the setting. The gameplay is fun. I just suck. Um, carry system is different. Okay, I need a save point up in here, y'all. Save point, save point. Yes. 
We got it! Nice! Thank goodness. <laughs> what a relief! Okay. Now, what is this? Defeat the Shogunate Assassins? Oh, Granny! Oh, that's bad. Okay. Oh, there's more? Okay. Oof. Oof. Crap. Triangle. Where's... Did we do it? Granny. We did it. Woof. We've been found. Just as I suspected. You mean to abandon the clan and search for them? They're still alive. I have to. Have you forgotten the code? Those lashes, though. <laughs> Damn, she's a baddie. What are you doing? What are you doing? You know I cannot let you leave. What? No! I don't want to fight you! The clan are marked for death. Girl, I don't want to actually have to fight you for reals. Fuck, I forgot how to play already. <laughs> Crap. I'll heal. Ooh, mama. Yikes. Okay. Fuck, I'm bad. Okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Oopsies. What the shit was that? Come now. Have you forgotten who the master is? Jesus, I have no juice, man. Oh, sorry, son. I think you survived this long. What's wrong? I did not train you to hesitate. Sorry. What is the timing on that? What the? Uh, Fudge. Fuck, what am I doing? I don't know what the timing- Oh, okay. I mean, I honestly, I just spam triangle there. I don't fucking know what I was doing. Show me all you've got. Shit. Fuck if I know, bro. Not bad. Uh oh. Uh oh. Fuck. No! Come on! I will be joining you soon enough. Dang it! Here we go again. So close, and now I'm gonna be on her for two hours. Dang it! So close. 
No way, I have to fight these again too. Bro, I don't have my five heals anymore too. That's a problem. Uh oh, out of juice, out of juice, out of juice, out of juice. Get up, get up. No! Dude. Manage your energy more. Manage the key. Man, did any of y'all drop anything? No, I have to do the. Oh, okay, never mind. Fuck. What the hell? She gave me two variable of things. What the heck? No, please. Dude. No, 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 no. Uh, it's so frustrating because I feel like I get it. And my brain and my hands are having this disconnect. Okay, we have three heals. No. Fuck, no, please don't. Please don't. A sorry sight. Was that sick jump? Crap. Those should be pretty easy to parry. Crap. Oops, didn't mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. Fuck. Take it easy. go there we go just had to slow it down in the brain a bit why do you have to be like this granny no can't finish the job you always were soft damn you've been the same ever since i took you in no twin no Mima. Sad. God damn. Ever since I lost my blade twin, I've had to live oh, with the she pain lost hers too. of surviving. Hmm. Go! Succeed. 
it where I have failed. Girl. You could have let her do that without having to fight her. And dying. Dang. Oh, she took the scarf from his grave. I know it's the code, but God. <laughs> Didn't have to be this way. Take the path by the giant tree to elude the Huguenot agents. No, go! Hmm. Nails fire, though. <laughs> so sad. So sad. Three twins are tied together by powerful bonds. If you can sense them, I know you will bring them down. Wow. Go, my child. Live your own life and die your own death. Down. Look at that! Rise of the Ronin! Here we are! We finally beat the fucking tutorial! <laughs> oh, goodness. Guys, we finally unlocked the game. Flying the nest. Oh, Jesus. It took me too long. It took me too long. Head to Yokohama. Do we have the map? Oh, dang. Oh, dang. Guys, we really spent that whole time. And it was just the beginning of the game. Uh, special skills. Hold X to expend skill points and acquire special skills. Learning special skills a certain number of times will improve the corresponding stat. Uh-huh. Oh. Repel arrows, bullets, counter spark. Auto life recovery out of battle. Fully recover health after a battle? You can view information on combat styles from the menu combat style screen. Press square to view combat style stat and upgrade requirements. You can then see a description of each ma martial skill. I almost read that as materia <laughs> skill. <laughs> and the requirements for learning it on the martial skills detail screen. Furthermore, repeated use of the same weapon type will increase your weapon proficiency. Ah. Press to check your weapon proficiency. Reach a certain level of weapon proficiency will earn you skills and skill points. Mm. Man, we really just unlocked the game, you know? Like, we really, really just barely scratched the surface. Keep an eye on your Ronin bonds in this historic era. Completing missions you are tasked with as a Ronin will increase your Ronin bonds, which will in turn bring, your I bring you items and increase your influence. Interesting. Encyclopedia. The encyclopedia contains all manner of useful information, archive, re read descriptions of people, organizations, the areas, events, recall important events from the past, guide, review tutorials you've seen so far. Oh, if I'm ever confused about the story or what's going on, I can just read these. That's nice. Well, that'll wrap up our first episode for Rise of the Ronin. Initial thoughts, I think the game's really cool. It's gonna take me a little bit of getting used to the combat. Going from Final Fantasy VII Rebirth to this game is gonna, you know, I have to spend probably a few days before I might get accustomed to the parry system, the, you know, everything basically. But so far, so good. I'm definitely enjoying it and I'm looking forward to playing more of it. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. If you want to see more Rise of Ronin playthroughs in the future, consider subscribing to the channel. I also have a playthrough of Rebirth on the channel at the moment, as well as Final Fantasy VII Remake. So if that intrigues you, feel free to check out those videos. Also, if you want to watch live, twitch.tv slash Lunity would love to have you here. So thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Bye!